Hello everyone, Jonathan here at Triple M Games, and I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial tip video on how I use Area 2Ds and how they can collide with bodies and other 2D objects. I'll be using a game I've been working on called Cyber Baby Escape Plan. So let's get into the level. I have a basic character, which is a dynamic body 2D, and it has a simple script with different gravity and things like that. We're not going to be focusing on that, we're just going to be focusing on how it can collide with different objects. So let's create a new scene. Uh, we are going to be using an Area 2D. And we'll just call this uh, test area. And from there, we're going to need a collision shape 2D. Yeah, so here. And just so we can see what we're doing, we are going to add a sprite. And we'll just drag that up to the top, change the texture to the famous icon image. Uh, we will create uh, for this one, just a rectangle shape. And do not grab the outer edges here, or uh, that scales the object. And from what I hear, that's not too good. <laughs> so we're going to uh, grab these uh, center points. I currently have snapping turned on. And the uh, snapping set to 32. I might have to change that to 8, but... We will see. We're even better. I think I'll just go over here to the shape. We'll click on edit. I'll change this down to 32 by 32 because the image is 64 by 64. Okay, if I remember correctly. And from here, we're going to click right up here on our test area. We're going to make sure that it's monitoring and the collisions are on the right layers that we're going to be colliding with. And we're, we are going to add a script. And I prefer having no comments. And we will select our scripts folder. And for me, I'll call it tutorial scripts. And test area. And we'll create that. Okay. So, we have our basic setup. But what I like doing is I like using uh, that. And then we'll click enter there. And we'll put a little period, and we're going to connect. Then we'll put quotation mark, and here's where uh, we get to see what our area 2D can actually do. And we have area entered, if we want to have uh, different areas collide with it instead of bodies. Um, we even have mouse entered, if you want to have mouse events. And I think we're going to go with a uh, body entered and body exit, uh, exited. We're going to put a comma on self because we're using this script, I guess, <laughs> or colliding with uh, itself. And at the end, we're just going to create body entered. And we have just connected uh, our area 2D to body entered and this last part here is a custom function that we can put inside of the script to tell it what we want to do so type funk then we'll use that and here's to where things get cool we type in body because we want to use whatever we collide with and we want to turn it into that variable okay so now we're going to type out if body that is in group and then we're going to use quotation marks and for me I'm going to use player I will show you how to set that up here in a moment 
and I'll type in print have say entered for now. It doesn't have to be <laughs> capital. And we will save our scene. I like putting it in instances, put it in tutorial. Instances. And test area. Okay. So, if that works, for me, I should be able to quick play, go to my level, and as you can see down in the output, every time I enter, it prints out entered. So let me go over to my player and show you. He is a Kinemic Body 2D and sprite and collision shapes. But the thing we need to do is click on the Kinemic Body 2D, click on Node, and then Groups. And then what I ended up doing was entering in Player and then adding it. Then it goes down there and you can remove it, whatever. And that allows my test area to only check if it is inside player. Like if I remove this to something, <laughs> something, you would not be seeing anything. Because it is not inside an object that is labeled as something. So, if I connect that again, this time I want to do exited. And we can even copy this if you want to. Body that exited. Then we can do the same thing, but this time we'll just say exited. And play my level. If I go inside, it's entered. If I leave it, it's ex exited. And then from there, have you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, you could turn it into a switch, like I did, or you could do a few other things with it. Um, you could create an input, like if the player is inside it, and you click enter, it will take the body and uh, it will do something with it. Uh, like if I want to, I am going to... I'm going to check how much health the player has whenever I'm inside the test area. So body entered. I want it to check body health. Actually, I could have did print body health. Well, actually, I'm going to create a string. Player health. And if we play the test area now, player health equals four. So you can even access functions. Like, see here, down here, I have a, a function hit, which I technically could have changed it to something else but anyway we're gonna hit the player and it's gonna tick down the health so we're going to body dot hit and then tell me how much health it has player has three health player has two health one health and zero. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now, if this was area entered, I don't know if uh, 
to show it. Okay. Yep. Because the uh, the player is a body, and it's not an area, so it's not detected. So I'd need to change the player from a kinetic body to an area, or create an area inside of the player. Uh, yeah. Like I did so I'd detect that the player is actually on something. Or, oh, what did I do with that? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that is how I kind of use Area 2Ds. You can, if you want to, use Signals. It's the same thing. You just connect it, then you tell it to use that, and it will automatically create the same thing, but you wouldn't need to do this. Personally, I don't really like doing this. But in some cases, for easy easy stuff, easy access, you can just do that this way. I'm going to disconnect that. I'm going to remove this because I don't need it. And I hope this tutorial helps you. And I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Uh, good luck and have fun using Godot.